Hi there, my name is Gavin McGranahan and I'm the Policy Officer with As I Am, Ireland's national charity for the autism community. Accessing the criminal justice system often involves complex barriers for autistic people, especially whenever they're engaging with local law enforcement. Many autistic people will have a particular image of what they see as a police officer, and this is often influenced by what they've seen in TV and film. They may become anxious if approached by one on the street, even if the officer is simply concerned about their well-being. Stimming, for example, is an exercise in self-regulation for a lot of autistic people, and when under duress, they may become more expressive, and this can sometimes be misinterpreted as they are being under the influence of drugs or alcohol, especially if they are in a public place. This lack of awareness can have profoundly serious consequences in other areas of police work, such as questioning witnesses or potential suspects. Misinterpretations of a recollection of an event or a tone of voice might cause confusion and tension, and this has profoundly negative consequences for either parties involved. Indeed, even if an autistic person is exhibiting what Gardaí might view as criminal or challenging behaviour, their engagement with the person, especially if they are young, must be done so very sensibly. Accessing legal services is also problematic for autistic people in a lot of areas. Impressing their full set of rights onto a client at the outset of a meeting with a solicitor may lead to information overload, even if the autistic person's special interest is in law. A lack of autism awareness amongst the legal community can also complicate the interview process whenever clients are being interviewed. And accounting for issues in social imagination and understanding social cues during exchanges can lead to misunderstandings, especially whenever relaying critical information to be outlined in a case. Clients, especially for those who might be non-verbal, might find expressing nuanced details of their case and issue to their representatives hugely difficult, where they risk missing out vital pieces of information. This, in turn, could impact on their overall chances in court, whether as the plaintiff or the defendant. Indeed, going through the courts can present a huge swathe of challenges for people on the spectrum and their interaction with others. Problems in social imagination may complicate a witness's recollection of their account and they may not respond well to being cross-examined by a barrister. Similarly, non-verbal communication may also give way to misunderstandings, particularly if a per- an autistic person on the dock is not particularly expressive in their body language or facial expression and this may be interpreted by members of the jury as a sign of guilt. As I am, I work closely with members of Angarda Shiokana to deliver training and best practices for autism engagement. We have developed a close relationship with the Garda's Human Rights Unit and our team runs a module for, on autism for every intake of Garda recruits at Templemore. Prior to this, we are currently developing an online training module with a view to roll to every Garda in the country by 2021.